This is a tutorial for the common folk who just want to use Python and Blender. Whether it be importing your own code or other people's code, it can get uh, confusing. The first scenario is you have written some Python code. You have a very special module and you have some other script that you want to transfer that information to. We'll call one file one, we'll call two file two. And let's assume that in file one, we've written something super important. So definition called my function. What my function does is arbitrary. It's so arbitrary. Import file one and run that. Doesn't know what file one is. Okay, maybe it's a relative import from relative import this no the issue basically is that Blender's file structure is different from a normal directory because in fact, we have two text files that live inside of the blend, as you can see. So what you do is you right click, copy full data path. I'm gonna make a module name. So I'm gonna say file one is equal to this text file. We don't actually need the name. And then you write as module. You wouldn't believe how many workarounds people have on the internet for this instead of using like this basic line. Only other thing you need to import Blender Python. I run this and now it runs fine. And in fact, I could write file one dot my function. I will run it. We can go to the system console and it says so arbitrary. Now the second scenario is you want to import somebody else's code. What you might be tempted to do is Blender has its own Python interpreter. So what I've seen people do is they navigate over to Blender 4.2, 4.2, Python, and you say, okay, Python, install some things. It ends up going to this. This is just like useless information, but it goes to the site packages thing. This isn't very reliable because there are admin permissions. And if you make an add-on, you don't know if it'll work on somebody else's computer. So the best course of action is to actually just kind of do this manually. I'm going to make a custom uh, folder. I can literally just call it custom. In fact, just copy this um, address. What do I want you to do? I want you to pip and install something like hello is the name of a certain package and the uh, key is you want this double dash this is a flag target equals to this path so what this little statement says is it's saying okay we're going to import blah 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 but put it inside of this folder target it to this folder so if we were trying to uh, import pillow which goes by uh, pill if you're trying to import there's no such thing but now when we install this no such file or directory okay this is important if it doesn't work for you do this a dash m and now you're going to see it's going to start installing and it's in this folder we're going to have blender reference this directory so again we installed into a folder but then we say Blender, you're allowed to look inside of this. What I need to do is I need to import sys. This means system. So system.path.append. I believe you have to do something like this, where you uh, do a string literal. Put an R and put your path inside of uh, kind of these quotation marks. So I run this. Uh, you can see worked fine. But now the difference is if I was to import pill, let's try this again. Now it can do it. So let's try something that isn't there yet. So CV2 for OpenCV, no such thing. And now I will install it, making sure to use this target flag, very important. And now it's going to install uh, computer vision. And now because this is already in the system path, I run it and it can actually we uh, execute that. Not only can we import our own things with the as module command, but we can import other people's things by using a tertiary uh, folder that then you could even pack inside of an add-on. You, you have a script where it then adds the relevant folder to their system path, which turns out to be pretty easy to do. And yeah.